the Emperor. Hi everyone, Forkmas is back here for a short uh, update or whatever to call it. Uh, I will not uh, place a certain date on this video considering that uh, I'm uncertain when I will be able to edit it together and upload it. Uh, I just wanted to make some uh, small announcements or just clarify things. Uh, first of all, um, if you remember back in August when I said that I was seeing this girl and we were gonna go exclusive. Uh, well, that didn't work out. Uh, she and I ended it uh, approximately yeah, earlier this month. And um, so that's why I had to change my outro again. Uh, it's, it's a it's, it's a tragic thing that it did work out. Uh, I don't want to go too deeply into my personal life. Uh, I just wanted to know that make you guys know that uh, it, it's been difficult for me to since then uh, to go yeah to move uh, move uh, forward in my life. Uh, I've been uh, sucked up with studies. I'm currently writing an essay on comparing Dracula as a character in the novel. Com in comparison with the uh, uh, movie adaptation of him. So that's what I've been doing this last month. And which is also why I had uh, very little time to actually make videos. Uh, considering that I'm living in a dorms room and I have a neighbor's home and I... I don't, I don't know, I, I, I'm a bit um, ashamed of uh, doing this vlogging and I don't want them to know about it. I know it's silly, but uh, that's who I am. So that's why I usually do only make videos during the early hours when there's no one home and when there's still light outside because this uh, camera doesn't do well with the darkness so yeah so that that's what I wanted to say so studies and my personal life has gotten in the way I am working on uh, I hope by the next week to do some more of my painting guides so I hopefully can be done with those uh, so I can upload them for you. Um, so, that's, so that's more or less why it, I have been uh, away from making so many videos lately. And, and the second thing is that uh, during the summer when I did, did so much hobbying, I think I got fed up so I needed a small break from uh, painting and stuff like that. Uh, but And I have a lot of videos planned out. I want to talk about the uh, old uh, Legion structures. I want to yeah, I have so many Forkmaster theories I want to get out there, I just don't have the time. Uh, earlier last week, I believe, uh, a YouTuber by the name of... Uh, a YouTuber by the name of Jenny Barber, uh, she asked me for the correct... Uh, what order you should read the Horace Heresy books. Uh, the simple answer is you read them in the publication order. So you start with book one and you move forward. And, uh, and um, the trouble is with the Horace Heresy is though that they have a shitload of short stories which are uh, they're released out of order. And uh, so, so that might be a problem. And then they have a audios that's uh, going alongside the novels, doing a, a, a parallel timeline or whatever you can call it, the Gar stories for instance. Uh, but my recommendation is re read them in their publication order or if you look at my YouTube uh, page you, you will see that I have a playlist uh, which is called Forkmaster Reviews and uh, I try to be chronological in the order when I review them. Uh, there have been a few exceptions, for, for instance the book Legion was uh, reviewed way earlier than it should have been. It was because when I started rereading the Horus Heresy for a second time, uh, I had c come up to the Book of Legion when I decided, well, I probably should uh, review these books. So that's why I started with Horus Rising, just because that's the starting point. Then I got to Legion, and then I started trying to make it in a chronological order. Another exception is that the, the short stories from Tales of Heresy is uh, also reviewed way out of order. But other than that, if you look at my playlist for that, you will get a small hint of in what order you should read the Horus Heresy books. And I also try to mention in my reviews 
which books are necessary to read and which ones you can skip for the moment. Like for instance, Battle uh, for the Abyss is a very terrible novel and you can actually skip it because it doesn't affect the bigger horror heresy storyline. So that's just more or less what I want to say. I hope to make a proper video where I discuss in what order you could read them to get the optimal uh, reading order, whatever. Uh, yeah, so that's, I just wanted to say that. Uh, the next thing which I wanted to say is that uh, two weeks ago, yeah, two weeks ago, uh, I went to the, the Swedish uh, sci-fi uh, convention here in uh, my hometown, Uppsala. And I got to meet a couple of cool people. The first one, which you will see, is a personal message, which you see right now. Hi, Alexander. My name is John Rhys Davis. I play Gimli in Lord of the Rings, Sala in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, I was in Sliders uh, and a few other bits and bobs. I hope this was a rather funny. Thank you. So that, that's that's pretty cool, right? Uh, when Gimli himself gives you a video response, uh, he's the second one to do this. No, he's the fourth one to do this. The first one was the seventh Doctor Who. Uh, the second one was the sixth Doctor Who, and you can see those on my other personal uh, university uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I will link it down below here, I believe. Uh, and then we have Hodor, which you saw Hodor updates for quite a long time. And then now Gimli. And I also met a couple of other cool people. I met someone who worked on the original Agent Alien movie. And I got to meet Samantha Fox. She was a very beautiful, nice lady. She was very fun. She had a lot of spirit, uh, which is uh, very special considering that I think she lost her life partner just a month ago. So it's it's very nice to see how strong she is despite all this. And I also got to meet uh, Commander Collier from the Stargate Atlantis and uh, one of the Bond villains. Uh, he, he was really, ni really nice too. Apparently he does some, uh, uh, some singing, so I, I recommend you check it out. I haven't myself, but if you're into that stuff, you should definitely check it out. And I also got to meet uh, Big Starklighter from the Star Wars Episode 4, so that was a cool experience as well. But yeah, that's, that's more or less everything that's going on in my life. You know what's happening in my personal life, in my study life, in my hobby life, and in my yeah typical nerd life. Uh, if you have any more questions, just post them down below. I try to give an elaborate answers in the comment sections. It's a bit difficult to, uh, to explain uh, everything, so that's why I usually do these videos sometimes just to explain because I'm a bad explainer. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching this video and I apologize here in advance for being slow with my video updates. I try to do them weekly but uh, sometimes it gets dragged out and I don't want to upload too many videos at the same time and I can't devote too much time to um, too many videos because I have a lot of other duties to attend. Uh, but with that said, thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to rate and subscribe to my channel. Please give a thumbs up on my videos and also leave comments on things that are good so we keep on doing them. And leave negative critique of these on new bad so we need to improve or remove the content entirely. And also don't forget to share this with your friends and see if it could be interesting, entertaining or simply inspiring. But other than that, thank you very much for watching this video. For the Emperor, bye.